Uh, first thing, just it's super honored to be part of something new, right? I think being the first one is is always important. But I love I love food, and I think this is a great opportunity to to be be part of something big. And Feels amazing. I'm here to work uh, side by side with him with everything. For me, is soul food is the equivalent of my culture, right? Um, soul food from the south of the United States and from the Caribbean. That that soul food too, right? The, the food that my grandma used to make for us for when, when I was a kid. The food that I grew up, those flavors that that are very present on my on my food, right? In my when I grew up, being a culinary for so long, soul food is it's just the same, right? It's just what grandma used to make what mom used to make you know in the home cooking you know that that particular flavor that you can replicate on the restaurant but don't have the same you don't have the soul that normally that have you know the love that came with with that the passion you know the, the feeding the family the, they have the joy to be sit uh, together that for me is when I hear soul food is is the equivalent of me growing up in Puerto Rico with my grandma and my mom cooking for us. Um, his food is always good. Um, I know that he made it with love. The kids love his food. I love his food. So since the pandemic, I don't cook anymore. He's the one that is cooking at our house. So it's just the best. It's restaurant quality food at our home. Uh, first thing, um, nothing happened by casualty, right? This is this is being planned, right? Um, not for me, probably from God that put us on on the way, right? First thing I tell, probably seen a couple times, is when I read the your advertising on Indeed, or there was the place I saw, it was that help us rebuild the food industry, right? I just get identified, it just catch me, and I apply for it, right? As a as a regular job, but when I when I went to the interview, it was this is meant for us, right? This is they start with this slogan that catch my attention. They put my effort to let me see what, what's going on here. I like the, I like I like to be the, the one to help to to fix the situation, but probably it's gonna feed us. It's not gonna feed you know. We're gonna we're gonna share great food with with a lot of people, but it's something that it was bigger than us. It's just grab us for the first word that was that's what I read and then take us to the process to be today here. Um, it just feels amazing as for us as a family. We've been praying for have an opportunity like this just to to be in together. This opportunity for the whole family for spend more time together, um, not spend all the time working, just build for us, build for the family and for the future. Um, before I worked, when I, in my previous work, I always give Coalition for Homeless, right? I think, I know in, in, my, in Puerto Rico it's a lot of struggle, right? For all the situations that's been happening, but since we moved here, it's a lot of struggle here too. It's, a, you know, in the, in the country with a lot of opportunity, we saw a lot of need, a lot of need that, that's probably, that's, that's gonna be my focus, right? Try to bring a little bit of our joy to other people, you know. A hot meal of a day is something that everybody should have. Absolutely. And I think there's a lot of people that don't have that opportunity, uh, even in this country with so many opportunities, so many resources. We have, the, we share the same vision. We see a lot of people that don't have a place to stay or they don't have any food. A lot of people um, asking for money and the traffic lights. So we feel the same, we feel that Anything we can do, it can help um, other people. Any small piece that we do, it would be better to help them. Absolutely.